Hi guys, welcome back to Absorption. Um, we've got the absorption of um, products of digestion of uh, lipids left. So, uh, triglycerides digestion. Uh, we were looking at the digestion in our video on enzymes and digestion. So, there are the products of the digestion. We've got monoglycerides and fatty acids. So, uh, in terms of the uh, in terms of the absorption of those, we remember the micelles. So the my, the job of the micelles was to bring the monoglycerides uh, and fatty acids towards the uh, cells of the small intestine for the absorption. So to do so, micelles associate. Um, uh, associate with those monoglycerides and fatty acids uh, for, uh, with bio salts. So uh, they contact the epithelial as we've mentioned, and the job of the micelles uh, is to break down and release, so those were the, our micelles, they break down and release monoglycerides and fatty acids. So you know that monoglycerides and fatty acids are non-polar and lipid soluble, so they can easily diffuse through the epithelial cell. So once they diffuse through the epithelial cell, they are going to enter the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, so they enter the endoplasmic reticulum to form triglycerides. Right, from the uh, endoplasmic reticulum, they will be passed on to the Golgi body. So, in the Golgi body, they are going to associate with cholesterol, form, uh, forming uh, chylomicrons. So, combined with the cholesterol, forming chylomicron. Right, so this uh, chylomicron is going to move out of the epithelial cell by exocytosis. So you remember the Golgi body got also the Golgi vesicles, that, so chylomicron will be uh, transported out of the epithelial cell by those vesicles. So exocytosis is going to take place and the chylomicron is going to enter the lacteals. So this is the uh, epif uh, this is the lymphatic capillary. Okay, and chylomicrons then are going to be hydrolyzed by enzyme in the endothelial cells, and for then uh, they're going to diffuse into the cells. So this is the longest process uh, of the di uh, of the absorption of the lipids. And what we need to understand about this process is then the function of the specific organelles involved in that as well. So one of the organelles involved in this process is the Golgi body. And what does it do? So from section one, from year one, you should remember the, the job of the Golgi body is to modify and process triglycerides. So yes, that makes sense because uh, uh, they, uh, triglycerides combine with chylomicron, uh, combine with cholesterol, sorry. So they combine with proteins forming chylomicron. And then, of course, uh, this chylomicron will be then packaged into the vesicles and released by process of exocytosis. Right. The importance then of the phosphate, uh, phosphate, where the phosphate uh, is coming from, of course, uh, phosphate is the part, uh, uh, is a part of the uh, lipids. Uh, it's it, it, it's got a really uh, high importance in the growth. So how you can quickly make links uh, in between the phosphate and the other uh, molecules within the body, you could say that phosphate is required to make RNA nucleotide, same DNA nucle nucleotide, and also ATP. Phosphate is needed to make membranes. We know that membranes are uh, is a phospholipid bilayer. So uh, another function of the phosphate is uh, to be used for phosphorylation. What is the phosphorylation? Phosphorylation is the addition of inorganic phosphate to the substances to make them more reactive. 
So for example, when you will be learning about the respiration in your second year, you will come across glycolysis. The first step of glycolysis is to make it more reactive by adding two inorganic phosphates. So this phosphorylated uh, glucose then can easily break down into two triophosphate molecules. Okay, so that's the example of phosphorylation. Right, so that's everything uh, about uh, absorption for now. See you later.